Uh, some businesses are still getting back on their feet. One specialty industry has had a massive rebound over the past several months. A local shop owner that sells baseball cards is experiencing one of his best years ever. Our Alyssa Donovan explains why the business owner thinks there's increased interest and how you can get in on the action. <laughs> Shipping packages from eBay sales from last evening. Try to get that done before people start coming in. Tracy Neal owns four sharp corners in Greenfield. I sell baseball cards, all sports cards, non-sports cards, and coins. Been here since 1989. And after three decades in business, the best year for Neal's bottom line has been this one. Crazy, absolutely crazy. Never seen anything like it. This is the lowest inventory I've had in 32 years by far. Whatever we get sells. I'm selling products I've never sold before. Tracy. Hey, guys. We come in here all the time and look at cards. I've been coming here since I was a kid. West Peak teaching his boys about card collecting while they're young. He's probably got five or 6,000, values them and organizes them and uh, keeps them in good shape so that he can eventually sell them back to Tracy. When they get older, they might be worth a lot of money. And while the habit can get a little pricey to start, 85.58 guys. It can pay off big time. At least four or five different cards of each has brought a million dollars or better at auctions. Over the past several months, popularity of card collecting has skyrocketed. Neil says new boxes are selling for two to ten times what they sold for just a year ago. Shaquille O'Neal, LeBron James, Jordan. In basketball, prices are crazy. And it's not just sports cards. Pokemon stuff, especially the original stuff. Boxes that I used to sell for $89.99 or anywhere from $389 or more. The success of his little card shop in the year 2021, something this small business owner did not expect at all. No, nobody could have guessed this, especially after the lockdown. I thought it would be exactly the opposite. But he says the pandemic is likely what spurred on this craze. But people were sitting at home, nothing to do. They drugged their cards out. They remember, you know, when they were younger collecting cards. They kind of got back into it. Then they seen some of the crazy prices that people were getting. And it just kind of was like a snowball. As for what's the most valuable right now. Baseball, basketball, football, hockey, UFC, Pokemon, doesn't matter. And if you're thinking about joining this lucrative trend as a rookie, Neil's advice is simple. I always just recommend that you buy what you like. Don't, don't, don't chase the dollar. If you don't like basketball, don't buy basketball. And maybe those cards that you love will turn you a pretty penny in the future. I'm Alyssa Donovan, WRTV.